Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and I'm here to show you the Hills air gun pump. Um, I'm actually a big fan of these products because um, I was quite early, early on to use a pump and uh, borrow a few of the first um, uh, to the designs that came out and were particularly hard to use. Once Hill got in on the act, uh, with all their experience of making pumps, um, these really are very well made and very easy to use. Now obviously there is a caveat to that and this all depends on your um, health situation. If you've got terrible heart problems or something and you really shouldn't be doing much in the way of physical movement, this probably isn't for you. But I'm no athlete and I find these very easy to use. And the key thing is that um, if it's very rare you're pumping up a pneumatic air gun from scratch. Most of the time you've gone out, you've done your 30 or 40 shots of either a field target shoot or a, a particularly successful hunting session. And um, you're back and you're just topping up the gun. And uh, if you're doing that, these are, these are very little effort for anyone who's um, half uh, in decent uh, condition. Basically this, unit comes, it comes in this rather nice attractive box and um, all padded and uh, set out. What you do, you get your constituent parts, you've got the handle, this is now the Mark IV. Um, the, all I would say is my only negative really is that the handle isn't quite as uh, soft as it could be. So what I did, the minute I got the Mark IV version, I very quickly pushed the handles of the old version on top of these. So I've got the, uh, the new handles in place, but you, you, all that is is uh, um, the main T-bar, you just screw that into place on top of the tube. Uh, this plastic foot um, stirrup part, you push over the top of the tube and then uh, over that you um, have the uh, dry, what we call the dry pack system. And again that just pushes on top of the tube, it neatly sits over two O-rings and that um, dry pack system actually takes out the moisture in the air. Um, it all goes together very quickly and you have a, again you'll have a hose um, to fit to the um, rifle that you're going to charge. That just screws into the front of the assembly like I've already got here. Uh, so we'll just put those to one side. <coughs> Get some lubricating grease just to keep everything in um, good nick. So that's it, when you get to this stage where you're, um, you, you've assembled the unit, which is very simple, you've got instructions, but you're literally talking about four or five pieces, so anyone can do it. Um, you get to this stage and you end up with your hose. Now I've screwed onto here, um, best fittings make all, you know, they'll supply all these um, parts, but you've got sort of Foster style bayonet fitting there that I've added on. The standard hose um, will finish um, as, as that one. So I've added in uh, a foster star bayonet clamp there uh, and then it's down to whatever adapter you get to charge your particular gun. Now I've got um, a couple of air arms competition guns that's from my FTP. Again that's, you stop it there that's the adapter I've put that into a best fittings quick coupler and that means that um, if I want to change between the guns I use I'll simply put, now I've got that coupler on, push that into the bin, bin it fitting, pull that back, push it in, and once that's clasped, that's then ready to go, to go into the gun. Uh, if you've got a different rifle, this is the beauty of the system, take that out, I've got another um, adapter for a different rifle, again on a quick fitting coupler, that'll be for a different gun, put it in, and away you're ready to go. Um, just going back to the dry pack, um, obviously you've got a nice pressure gauge, high quality pressure gauge they fit on these and um, that go on here, it's, they're quite high power now, they now go up to over 250 bar, um, it's more like 270 actually. Most guns are going to be, if you're filling to sort of 200 bar, so it's way within the um, capabilities of this pump. Um, the dry pack system that's the sort of what they call medium in there, which is very like mustard seeds, and you can buy replacement packs, and they, they recommend you replace those sort of every few months, and uh, that's the claim that that takes about 80 to 90 percent of the moisture out of the air. If you think you're sucking in air from the atmosphere, um, and there is obviously a moisture content. Now, some people will tell you, 
uh, scare stories about the corrosion it's causing. I've had my old S400 apart several times. We found no corrosion inside the cylinder whatsoever. So there is some moisture content uh, that's taken in with ease or in ingress from this, but it's minimal. And uh, again, if you replace the, this um, medium quite regularly, uh, certainly every few months, you're right on top of it and it's, um, it's not a problem. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll basically connect this up to the gun and um, what I think we'll do now is show that in, um, in a separate part.